Now that the Infinity Saga is over, the MCU prepares for the arrival of its epic Phase 4. One of the first films to be released in this new era of Marvel Universe is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. The teaser trailer provides us with lots of valuable clues about what Shang-Chi will be up to in his first movie and also why he was absent during the Infinity Saga. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. Who is Shang-Chi? Much like Iron Fist, Shang-Chi is a martial arts master. Unlike Iron Fist, however, Shang-Chi's powers seem to be based on his extensive training and physical abilities without having any other Superman skills. This humanity makes him somewhat unique in the Marvel Universe, especially considering his lineage. The Real Mandarin The reveal of the Mandarin in Iron Man 3 to be nothing more than actor wasn't well received by most fans. Thankfully, the real leader of the Ten Rings is in full display in the Shang-Chi trailer. Wen Wu, the leader of the Ten Rings, also happens to be Shang-Chi's father. He is the one responsible for training his son to be an assassin and is seemingly less than thrilled by his son's life choices. What are the Ten Rings? The name Ten Rings isn't just some catchy name from a group of villains. They're a real relic from the Marvel Universe. These rings seem to have been replaced by bracelets in the movie version, however, as they make a brief appearance in the trailer. Where was Shang Ching during the Infinity Saga? It seems to be a bit odd for someone as powerful as Shang Chi to simply lay back and do nothing during the Infinity Saga crisis. But the trailer seems to give us clues to what happened to him during this time. Wen Wu, who narrates the trailer, seems disappointed in his son's life outside the Ten Rings. At one point, he criticizes him for his actions during the past 10 years, which so happens to be the time when the Infinity Saga took place. Meet the villains. Wen Wu won't be the only bad guy in Shang-Chi's film, as the trailer showed us two other members of the martial art heroes, Rogue's Gallery, Razor Fist and Death Dealer. Razor Fist is the one that has a blade for an arm. Well, Death Dealer is a mysterious masked character that appears throughout the trailer. We know that Razor Fist will be played by the imposing Florian Muntanu. However, who plays Death Dealer in the film remains a secret. It's possible that the identity of whoever hides behind Death Dealer's mask might be a plot twist in the film. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is slated for release on September 3rd, 2021. What do you think? How are the character like Shang-Chi fit in the larger MCU? For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel.